Hello, this is Super Orange Cat, and I've got some more Toonami news to report on today. So, there was quite a response back to the new schedule that Toonami released yesterday. As you might have already known, Food Wars will be coming to the block in a couple of weeks, and it will be the Promised Neverland's replacement on the block. However, there was there's a bit of response to that as well, and I'll get into it. The bigger response was to the new schedule, which had some minimal changes, with one very big change, that being My Hair Academia shifting down five hours from being the 10.30 show to being the 3.30 show, being the last show in the entire block. And of course, this generates controversy, considering the fact that it had been the second highest rated show on the block behind, by Country Mile behind Dragon Ball Super. And many people are questioning, why is this move done? And, of course, Jason DeMarco, who's perhaps the most vocal person on the Toonami team, did respond to it via Twitter, basically saying that no people weren't watching it where it was, but at the same time kind of extending something of an olive branch, saying that, hey, if we get eyeballs, it will surely move up the schedule due to the fact that they're going to have a lot of schedule replacement in the upcoming weeks, which, which is true. There's a lot of show turnover that's going to happen soon, and this was just the start of it. And of course, a lot of people really started coming to thinking, this isn't just a ratings move. As you might know, Adult, Adult Swim, Tanami, kind of has a strained relationship with Funimation. And it's hard to explain where this started, or how it came to be. But one of the sources of the strife, many people believe, is Funimation's deal with Hulu. Basically saying that whatever anime that's distributed by Funimation will exclusively debut on the streaming site instead of being on Toonami, which was a big thing, especially with regards to My Hero Academia originally, because when My Hero Academia first came out, it was just a smash hit by any meaning of the word. And of course, a lot of people at the time were saying, put it on Toonami, put it on Toonami, and everyone kept talking to Toonami saying, put it on the block. However, there was this big wall that being Funimation's deal with Hulu. So... It wasn't going to debut on Tanami, and it only debuted on Tanami, I think, like a year or two after the dub first premiered on the streaming site, which a lot of people, like I said, still kind of haven't forgiven Tanami for, even though it's not necessarily their fault, because you can't stop Funimation from making these deals with streaming companies. And a lot of people are saying, furthermore, saying that this possibly means that Tanami will not be getting Season 4 of My Hero Academia on the block. It, it would have been beforehand, this was seen as a guarantee that, oh, we've gotten the first three seasons on Toonami, back to back to back. Season 4 is definitely going to happen. DeMarco had already said in the past that shows that have already had a history in the block will come back to the block when they have new seasons. So My Hero Academia surely will fit into that subcategory. However, this is starting to get a little questioned, you know. Because there are other shows that will be coming to the block soon that will probably be easier to get. Like, Bob Season 2 would probably be easier to get. One Punch Man Season 2 would be easier to get. And there's going to be some other new titles out there that are going to be very lucrative. Like, there's, there's some rumors that the next show to be announced to the block will be Demon Slayer. Goblin Slayer, I mean. Sorry. <laughs> My bad there. Although that show is going to have quite a bit of censoring. Because if we had issues with Sword Art Online Episode 10, we are probably going to have quite a few issues with Goblin Slayer. And anyhow, really, now on to Food Wars, which was the new show. And there was some controversy about this show, because it's not what one would consider a typical show. And like, thanks to the person who pointed out in my comments in the last video that this was this is a Shonen Jump show, Shonen Jump series. So this is technically Shonen. Although it's not shonen in the sense that a lot of people see shonen, they see it as, oh, young male character goes on adventure, fights monsters, learns more about himself, like that typical cut from that cloth. This show's a bit different. It's basically an anime version of Hell's Kitchen with a lot of bouncing titties. That's basically what Food Wars is. And I finally actually watched several clips of the show last night because I was curious, you know, about Food Wars and... We're in for one hell of a ride. I think this is, and from what I've looked at, I think it's going to be a great show. Because, like I said, my theory for a while has been, if 
Konami starts racing that etchy, itchy, I can't pronounce that right, or that sem, not hentai, no, not hentai, but somewhat sexual type of anime, it's going to improve ratings. Because my key point to this being, when Fully Cooly Progressive aired on the block, the episode that had the best ratings far and away was episode 3. That episode being known as the beach episode. And I think the key reason for that is the promo front and center had Haruko in a bikini. It showed Jin Yu in a bikini. And let's be honest, that sells. Sex sells in this society. And that's something I think that Tanami should be willing to take advantage of. Even if it is a bit outside their typical image of getting shown in, like, it would be so weird for a block that's like, Oh, it's Naruto block, it's the Dragon Ball block, it's Black Clover, it's Hunter Hunter. These types of shows to be like, oh, by the way, we're going to have girls that have jiggly breasts now. And as long as it doesn't devolve into like full-blown showing tentacle monsters and shit, fine for the block. And I think this will actually improve ratings. Actually, if you go on to the Tanami Facebook page and read the comments below the Food Wars announcement, I would say that the ratio of positive comments is much higher than it is for most of the other schedule changes that Tanami has. And it's because there are a lot of people that are into this type of anime that I think will be willing to watch it on TV, on Saturday nights, on Tanami. And I think it could tap into this audience well. And I think this is ultimately a good thing for the block. Although I'm not necessarily sure it should come to the expense of My Hero Academia being shifted so far into the block. Because it's still somewhat of a draw to the block. Even though all the episodes are already available through streaming, some people will go out of their way to just watch it on TV on Tanami. So I think it's a delicate balance that Tanami needs to work with that they might throw away with this schedule change. There's a very large reaction to this online. Like a lot of people feel really jilted by this decision to move by her academia late in the block. So what are your guys' opinions? Do you agree with the schedule change? Are you as excited for Food Wars as I am? Leave your comments down below if you want more content like this. If you want more Toonami news content, please subscribe. Please hit the notification button. I appreciate your guys' support. I'm the Super Orange Cat, and that is all.